The speech I have chosen remains as relevant today in 2015 as it was back in 1940 when it was first written. While Hitler gained a poisonous grip over Europe, Charlie Chaplin released the film The Great Dictator, significantly the first film in which he spoke. Loudly and clearly, he condemned the Nazi party for their barbaric actions. Impersonating Adolf Hitler, he gave a passionate speech on how hatred and intolerance must be done away with, and how technology is leading to a lack of humanity within us all. At the time when this speech was written, the sounds of shattering glass still rung in the ears of those Jews whose homes and livelihoods on Kristallnacht were destroyed in front of their excessively Jewish eyes. And Europe and all of its minorities were pinned under an iron fist, fearing for their lives every day, lives that were worth nothing to the German authorities. Joseph Goebbels, the Minister for Propaganda and Public Enlightenment, once said, if you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe in it. One big lie is all it took to kill 11 million people. One big lie is all it took to bring the world to its knees and to leave a scar the size of Germany on the face of Judaism. In 2015, we don't need a minister for public enlightenment to feed us lies. Instead, we have the media. Day in, day out, we are fed lie after lie, stereotypes about Muslims, about gay people, about black people, white people, men, women, all people, all genders, all races, all religions. Today, we all live under the public microscope for scrutiny. Are we tall enough? Are we small enough? Are we too black, too white? Why is she wearing a burqa? Is she hiding a bomb? Is this gay couple too gay to raise a child? These are all seen as perfectly reasonable questions, which just goes to prove the fact that we haven't come on that much since 1940. Hatred and intolerance are still rampant. And if you don't believe me, ask the mothers of those innocent black men who were killed by white police and whose blood and tears now blow down the street of Ferguson, Missouri. And if you still don't believe me, ask the 1.1 billion Muslims who now face the hatred of all those ignorant to the fact that Islam does not promote violence. Only peace and love, like all world religions. Following the Charlie Hebdo attacks in films such as American Sniper, social media has been plagued by trends such as hashtag kill all Muslims. This is a despicable demonstration of the intolerance that Ch Charlie Chaplin condemned. And if you still don't believe me, ask the millions of gay people who fear for their lives every day, who fear persecution purely because of their sexuality. Hate and intolerance are rampant, and they are preventing us from living in the world of reason that Charlie Chaplin so passionately speaks of. I only hope for a day when the message of the speech no longer rings so true. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't wish to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there is room for everyone and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, yet we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives us abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world. Millions of despairing men, women and little children. Victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is upon us is but the passing of greed. 
the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, who enslave you, who regiment your life, tell you what to do, what to think, what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men. Machine men with machine minds and machine hearts, you are not machines. You are not cattle, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You the people have the power, the power, the power to create happiness, the power to create machines. You the people have the power, the power to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of democracy, let us use that power, let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill this promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Let, let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and technology will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!